Hey guys, so I'm starting out with this solid wood, I believe it's oak uh, table, and it has a veneer on top, which if you're not familiar with what a veneer is, it's a layer of wood that they put on top of dressers and furniture of all sorts, and it's about the thickness of a penny. And it is actually wood, so you can sand it and stain it and do whatever you want to. But you have to be careful that you don't break through the veneer. Because like I said, it's only the thickness of a penny. So I decided to sand this one by hand. And besides, I wanted it to go with the grain. And the grain was going in so many different directions. It would have been hard to do with any of my power tools. So there it is, all sanded down. I used 80 grit and then worked my way up to 220. This next stuff is one of my favorites. It's Minwax Pickling Whitewash, and it's a water-based product. It works really easy, and I just needed to create a nice light base because even though I sanded the finish off the table, it was still um, too yellow and too dark to really take the next stain that I want to use, that grayish color. Um, so I needed to create a nice light base with that, and you'll see me apply it with the sponge you could apply it with a paintbrush you could apply it with a towel probably and then you just remove it after it's sat for a second um, with paper towel or you know shop towels or a t-shirt here it is see how nice and bright it is it's just such a great canvas to be able to work on I'm sure that you could probably use this stuff without sanding the tabletop on and if you try that make sure and let me know this next thing is Varathane's gel stain in the color Briar Smoke. I really like this stuff. It is the perfect gray brown color. I have looked and looked and looked to find um, a color that I really liked for stain. And I finally found it in this product. It, they sell it at Home Depot. And I'm sure you can get it on Amazon too. But I love it. The only bummer about it is it's an oil-based product. So... You have to follow the instructions on the can and make sure you are being careful and using a chip brush is great because you can just throw it away and you can use paper towels and throw them away as well um, to wipe it off. One thing I will say is if you've never worked with like an oil based stain is that you need to be careful and follow the instructions because it is uh, flammable and if you leave like you know wads of rags with the stain on them they can actually combust so just want you guys to be safe out there do is use this Minwax wipe on poly it's oil based and I am using a little piece of a t-shirt to apply it it applies really easily and dries pretty quick for an oil based product but you do need to put on several more coats than you would your average poly because it is very thin but I really like it it gives you a very level finish and doesn't leave any brush strokes On the skirt of this table and the chairs, I used Sherwin-Williams Pure White. And I know this tutorial is mainly about the table, but I wanted to show you guys what I did on the chairs as well.
To fill in the details of the chairs and the skirt of the table, I used a combination of these three waxes to get that gray-brown color that I felt like went really well with the table. But I'm sure you could just find something that has that gray-brown color already and not have to mix three different ones. That just was not the case for me. So you'll see me apply it with a t-shirt, material, cloth, and then I will wipe it clean with either clear wax or a white wax. So I'm so happy with how this piece turned out. If you have any specific questions, ask me in the comments and I would love to answer them. I am so happy that you watched this video and I'll see you in the next one. Movies, how it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking